Right guys, so today we're doing another Harrow's set and it's from the new launch again. It's the Magnum Reloaded 24 gram steel tip, 97% tungsten. Very curious to see how well these roll, so let's get on with it. So have a look at the packaging, you see it's got steel tip there, we've got the Harrow's logo, nice big picture of the, the barrel itself, 97% tungsten, Magnum Reloaded, segmented cubic grip, 24 grams. On the back, nice full picture of the full setup, the super grip carbon stems and the flight, 97% tons, the magnum reloaded, segmented cubic grip, just showing you a diagram there, and a close up of the tapered nose there. Uh, parallel profile, titanium nitrate coated, incision mill tungsten, super grip carbon shafts, 100 micron flights, 50 mil barrel length. And it's match weighted to 0 0.05 grams. And again, with the harrows, the now they've got the sleeve. So we'll take the sleeve off. And again, it's just got a nice big window so you can see the barrels, the stems, and the flight. So let's open this up. And again, from harrows, you're getting this new plastic packaging coming from them. And you can see the three barrels, the flights up there, the stems attached, and the molded harrow logo attached so let's have a close look at the barrel on a close look you see it's got that black tip point slight tape and nose with a ring grip on this and then it's got that incision mill tungsten with a titanium nitrate coating and the cubic grip as well and all the way up the length of this barrel to get to the the top band there with the harrow's logo um on the back and it's got the super grip carbon stems and just having a look at the flights as well got magnum harrows written on this and you see it's got a slight hint of red just up the top section of the flight the length of this is 50 millimeters by 6.5 millimeters okay so we've got the dash hole fully set up the grip level on this um i'm gonna give it a three and a half to a four Depends where you grip on this. If you're gripping more as a front gripper, I think you've got a three and a half. Middle gripper, I don't know if it's that cubic cut. Uh, it seems to be a little bit more grippier, so I'll give that a four. And again, three and a half uh, at the rear as well. So, depends on where you hold, hold this, um, it's got a different grip level to it. So, three and a half at the front, the middle and rear, I'd give it a four. So we'll give it a few throws, see how we get on. Nice steady balance to this, uh, does stick to your fingers, uh, there's no slippage at all. It's not aggressive kind of grip to this for being a, a four level grip, but it's very nice. Let's keep going. Ah, eighty five. Nice day, sex day. Eighty-one. Hey, cool star. Eighty-one. Hey, 
140. Right, I think I will leave it at that. Right, let's do a little summary. So the Harrow's Magnum Reloaded 24 gram steel tip, 97% tungsten, 97. Um, not a bad dart, it threw really well, it was comfortable in the hand. It did feel slightly heavier than 24 grams, but that was probably just what I'm used to feeling. But for me, I had a nice grip to this, it was nice balance to it. But for me, it did have a nice grip to it. I think front grippers may find it a little bit smoother than the middle and rear gripper, just cause the way it felt at the front, it felt a little bit smoother. I don't know if it's cause the, the band there is slightly bigger, so it just felt a little bit smoother. All in all, it is a really nice dart. Uh, I did like throwing these. So yeah, not a bad set of darts. Um, definitely worth looking into, so check these out if you're interested in that kind of style of dart as well. These cost around about the £57 mark, um, depending on where you're looking, obviously. So... It's just above the average price, but the work, the machine cutting into these, it's, that's where the cost has went to, I think. So, probably is worth that cost, uh, just by looking at the barrel itself and the coating that's all went into this. Also, leave a link in the description box where you can purchase this. So, make sure you go in the description box, click on the link, and it will take you to where you can purchase these. That's it for me, guys. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget, click that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Turn your notifications for any new reviews and live streams and I'll catch you in the next one. Happy luck guys. Bye.